Labar, Eisenberg, your favorite duo all around here on Chair Shot Rally on Wrestling Inc. Josh, let's wrap up this bench playlist and uh, let's talk. We're, we're in the month of June now, halfway through 2018. Let's look at WWE. Obviously, it has been a big year for WWE as a business from, from all, the, all the strides they make in the business world. Uh, as being the major, you know, marketing powerhouse and global powerhouse they are. Obviously, the the stock is <laughs> at an all time high with all the talk of their uh, new TV deals that are pending. But let's talk about more so in wrestling wise. Let's talk more so in the booking wise. What is defining 2018 so far to you in the world of WWE? So what's defined me in 2018 with WWE comes from three different letters: NXT, and it comes from the feud that has taken, I think, everybody by storm and has been the most complete feud that has lasted over a year now and still continues to be hot and fresh. Of course, I'm talking Johnny Gargano versus Tommaso Ciampa, and it all started one year ago in NXT in Chicago, and it looks like uh, NXT TakeOver 2, Chicago 2, is going to finish it. Now, this feud began so naturally, so organically, things we've seen before, a tag team partner turning on his best friend. But because it's an NXT team, because we're not getting oversaturation with developing stories or developing characters to throw in, it really has just been about Gargano Ciampa and a sprinkle of Candice LeRae. And that's what I like so much about this, is you have a lovable guy like Tommaso, or a lovable guy like Johnny Gargano and a hateable guy like Tommaso Ciampa. They're letting them work together and they're letting them really build their own storyline. Again, just sprinkling in little pieces. This shows me that aside from that feud, there's no other feud in WWE or NXT that can touch that. And we're talking about feuds that we've seen earlier in the year with a five-star match with Johnny Gargano and Andrade Cien Almas. We're going to probably see another five-star match with Velveteen Dream and Ricochet. And you're seeing all these amazing, talented guys in NXT get an opportunity. But at the end of the day, whether it's Adam Cole in the Undisputed Era dominating NXT, whether it's the Velveteen Dream, Ricochet, Lars Sullivan, Aleister Black, all these big talents, the one constant in NXT in 2018 has been Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa. I, uh, Gargano and Chapa has been uh, phenomenal. Uh, you know, I'm a huge fan of it. Um, but but I, I have a hard time of letting it be something that we could say define in 2018, simply because again, it, it is WWE Network only, and there's you know at least a million people that are out there that that aren't that are that aren't familiar with it, that aren't tuned into NXT, that aren't uh, clued into it. It's on, it's their loss, but it's hard for me to define. So I, I have to go with some things that are on Raw or SmackDown because that is something that everybody is seeing, uh, whether you're WWE Network or or not. And you know, there's a lot of things we could pick from. You know, we that you could say. Oh, I can define 2018 so far as being you know, the missed opportunities for Braun Strowman or this and there's a lot. There's a lot of things I can say negative, but I'd rather not let the negative be the, the defining factor. So I'll take one positive from each brand. On the blue brand of SmackDown, I got to say AJ Styles has defined 2018 in a big way. AJ Styles is just obviously besides being the phenomenal performer that he is, he's just so consistent. There, there. It, it, I don't know. I can't. I don't know if I can ever recall somebody. You know, probably, you probably have to go back into the Shawn Michaels, the Ric Flairs, the Bret Hart's when they were at their peak of performance in the ring um, of when you say, okay, I know that this guy is going to be able to do this for 15, 20 minutes if asked. I mean, it's, it's, the consistency is is, is, uh, is something to behold of. It's something he could work with anybody. I mean, hell, he, he worked with a James Ellsworth last year in a sequence of stuff and made that look yeah. just spectacular. So I got to say, um, you know, while there could be some nitpicking in his, in his feud with, uh, with Nakamura, I think overall... AJ Styles yeah. is a defining point, uh, at least on one half of Raw or, or one half of uh, the WWE program with SmackDown, and then over on the Monday Night Raw, you know, again, like you could talk about Ronda, you could talk about Braun, but I'm gonna go consistency again, and something that I think we're gonna be talking about looking back, which is this is the this is the surge of Elias, you know, all th through 2017, I was like, okay, here's an NXT call up, they haven't screwed up, and they're giving him TV time, and he's always oh, getting some wins, and oh, he's kind of funny, and people are catching on, it. Starting with Raw 25 in January of having a spot with John frickin' Cena and hitting, you know, you're hitting John Cena with guitars and from that, yeah. from that, uh, even to the, again, the WrestleMania spot with Cena to the walk with Elias catching on, um, doing a concert on Bourbon Street at WrestleMania week. Now he's, now he's being positioned for the Intercontinental Championship potentially. Uh, the merchandise sales we're hearing are doing well. And I just think as we look back and again, in this day and age where it is so finicky of how WWE handles talents. Um, it is so picky of how we see guys come from NXT and how they're handled or what happens. Or um, I just think Elias is a guy who, between how he's took the ball and ran and how they've decided to stay committed, I don't know. I don't know if it's Vince. I don't know who has got their hands so tightly wrapped around uh, Elias's uh, creative and, and what he's doing and making sure he's staying protected. But whoever it is or whomever as a group 
Uh, they, 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 deserve, they yeah. deserve a round of applause. I mean, Elias, to me, in 2018 right now on the Raw, uh, AJ's your consistent thing on SmackDown. Elias is your consistent thing on Raw. You know what you're going to get. Mm. Know what you're gonna get. It's. I mean, it's interesting to me. What's your NXT? You said you had one from each printer. Do you have something from NXT, or are you just? Well, if I was to pick, if, if, I, if I was to pick NXT, I would say Champa. Like absolutely, yeah. yeah. I just, but the fact that not everybody can absorb NXT right now, I, it's, it's hard for me to say. Okay, that's defining WWE when yeah. not everybody's seeing it. Yeah, and, and the only one uh, argument, obviously, Elias has been fantastic. Um, just sprinkle in, you know, the second part of Raw. I mean, it's Monday Night Raw ones every single Monday. A guy is putting on match after match. He's at the peak performance level of Shawn Michaels in his prime. You know, if you want to talk about AJ Styles at that level, Seth Rollins is at that level, if not greater than AJ Styles. And speaking of that, you know, we'll talk about our Money in the Bank predictions next week. But AJ, or excuse me, Seth Rollins and Elias, that could be a match that changes the course of what we're going to see for the rest of 2018. It's going to be like watching Undertaker versus Undertaker. These guys need to change up their beard I mean, and hairstyles. <laughs> just a couple of pounds more for Elias. That's it. <laughs> Share shot reality all over social media, uh, Facebook, at CS Reality on Twitter, at Josh Eisenberg 4, at Justin Labar. Make sure you comment on the video below. Next week, as Josh said, we'll make our Money in the Bank predictions on the Binge Watch Money. playlist. As Money in the Bank, uh, one, of the, one of the big ones to take, pay attention to, and of course, as Josh just alluded to, it definitely, the Money in the Bank briefcase, Elias versus Rollins, a lot of things at that event, uh, Nia Jax, Ronda Rousey, yeah. a lot of things are going to really set a tone for what we're going to see for the second half of 2018 to see what defines in the remaining months. Josh, it's been fun. I'm gonna go continue my Capitals uh, celebration, and no more, no more white Russian with no cups uh, jokes. <laughs> None of that stuff. Everybody, everybody yeah. can. He doesn't drink that much, so that's why he only has one cup. That's right. <laughs> he's a he's a wuss. There you go. Chair shot, rather than wrestling. Ink. We'll see you. <laughs>